in this lecture we talk about Euler characteristic so say x is a finite simplicial complex and x has dimension n and say ai is the number of i simplices in x so then the Euler characteristic is defined as the summation minus 1 to the i ai so you have a0 minus a1 plus a2 so on so this standard this a0 is 0 cells so these are vertices and then a1 are 1 cells so these are edges and these are a2 are 2 cells and so on so if you know a CW complex this is our standard de definition of Euler characteristic but this is not as useful for doing computations and to make it more applicable we have to recast this so let bi be the dimension of the hi that is the homology group hi and here you're taking the coefficients in a field so this is important so basically you take coefficients in a field because you ignore torsion so this helps you ignore torsion so basically if the homology groups are something like z modulo 2z you're going to ignore them so then we are saying that order characteristic now becomes this i equals to 0 to n minus 1 to the i bi so instead of ai here we have bi which is just the dimension here so let us prove this theorem so this is a very important theorem and this theorem makes uh, this order characteristic more applicable and therefore you can carry this over to other contexts like number theory so this theorem just follows from this sequence so you have the chain complex you apply the boundary map so since we are working in homology so this co goes to bi minus 1 so that is the boundary so b stands for the boundary now obviously you take the kernel of this map which we denote by zi so this zi means the zeros so this is obviously the inclusion so kernel of this map is written right here so you have this short exact sequence now since you have this short exact sequence then you can use the rank nullity theorem so dimension of this ci is dimension of the kernel and then dimension of bi minus 1 so that is it so this dimension of ci is what we are using ai right here so that is what ai is so ai is dimension of ci so order characteristic we define here like this so we are going to copy this right here and ai is dimension of ci now instead of dimension of ci you write dimension of bi plus dimension of bi minus 1 we write it like this now you change index here instead of i you put in i minus 1 uh, so yeah so you make these index the same so if you change this index then you have to put a minus sign here so either you put i minus 1 here or you make this i so anyway you have to change this so these two will no longer agree because you have index i here here you have index i minus 1 so you have a minus sign now homology is kernel over bi so if you want to compute homology it is always kernel over what is in bi and that is what will this will give you dimension of hi and that is what we wanted to prove that order characteristic is dimension of hi which we are denoting by bi so the corollary is uh, that homotopy equivalent spaces they obviously have the same homology groups and since order characteristic is just the dimension of the homology groups they have the same order characteristic so for example the disk will contract to a point it is same as the order characteristic of a point which is just one because this is just existing in space at zero so that is just a one-dimensional space so now some examples order characteristic of a sphere so sphere only has um, non-zero homology groups in dimension zero and dimension n and it is just a single copy of a field so you have one here and then minus one to the n here uh, because you have to multiply by minus one to the i so minus 1 to the n times 1 and here obviously 1 is also multiplied by minus 1 to the 0 which is just 1 so obviously it will become 0 for n odd and if it is even you will have 1 plus 1 2 
now all the characteristic of CPN this is complex projective space so this has um, this has n plus 1 cells we only have if you see the CW complex you have one cell in F for every even dimension so this will give you n plus 1 so RPN so RPN for n odd you know it will have homology group of Z and then HN will is also Z for n odd and all other homology groups are either 0 or they are Z modulo 2Z so as I told you before we are considering a field not integers so you can tensor this with the field you will just get a field here field here but this torsion will become 0 so these homology groups will just go away so you can just consider without torsion so you have just 0 and n so this we do not consider for dimension so you have 1 plus minus 1 to the n but this n is odd uh, as I'm writing here so this becomes 0 so for rpn is 1 for even n because for even n you have h0 is integers and every other thing is either 0 hi is either 0 or it is z modulo 2z and this we will ignore because of the torsion here and you just have this z left in zero dimension which gives you one so if x is a finite simply shell complex say it is covered by two sub complexes a and b such that you can write x as a union b then you can use a meyer vitora sequence and you can show that order characteristic of x is just order characteristic of a plus order characteristic of b minus order characteristic of a intersection b so notice that this is the standard formula which is used for expressing the union of a two sets a and union b now we want to talk about Euler characteristic of a sheaf so say we are given a finite exact sequence of vector spaces like this so uh, you apply the rank nullity theorem here you will have dimension of vi is dimension of image of fi plus dimension of kernel of fi this basically comes from right here which comes from exactness so if you do minus 1 to the i dimension of vi so you can put some here this copy right here and you copy this right here just putting minus 1 to the i in the front this is right here so now obviously this is exactness so kernel of fi is equal to image of fi plus 1 uh, because of the exactness here so the, here it is fi plus 1 so kernel of fi is equal to image of fi plus 1 and now you have i plus 1 here you have i here so you have to change this and if you change this uh, it will become minus you change i plus 1 to i these two will cancel out you will get 0 so if you have exact sequence like this this alternating sum of dimensions becomes 0 so it just follows from the rank nullity theorem and the exactness so now we come to algebraic geometry so say f is a coherent sheaf over a projective variety x then uh, this a fundamental fact of algebraic geometry is that the cohomology groups these hixf this will be a finite dimensional vector space so you denote the dimension of this as small hif and the order characteristic is defined as the uh, minus 1 to the i and using this here the dimension of the cohomology groups now the sum is finite because after a certain uh, certain exponent this will become 0 so this will become 0 for i greater than dimension of x now say you're given a short exact sequence of sheaves so this short exact sequence of sheaves will lead a long exact sequence of cohomology groups and these cohomology groups will become zero when this i exceeds the dimension of x so you have a long exact sequence of cohomology groups now you can start taking the dimension of these all these cohomology groups here that will be zero so dimension of and you sum it up dimension of all the cohomology groups for f g and h all of them would be uh, zero just copying this right here and now you separate it, it into whether these homology groups are coming from f or from g or from h 
and that will give you this result that order characteristic of G is equal to order characteristic of F plus order characteristic of H so you can write down this long exact sequence and see it for yourself they just trivial to see but this is a very important relationship in fact this is what gives you Riemann rock theorem so the Riemann rock theorem is nothing but relationship between order characteristic of sheaves and these three sheaves are all living on this projective variety x